Welcome back everybody, and here we are with uh, episode 2 of the uh, Forza and Kudo tutorial for those of you uh, wanting to know how to build a deathmatch uh, within the base and uh, if you saw the last video uh, where they did races then you can actually s you'll know that the strip where them green spawn points are that is the line that you've got to work with uh, so it's the same line as last time, same place unfortunately no no exception to deathmatches except one little secret surprise I've got for you with the tanks a, a little bit later on the video as you can see here, left and right, nothing, that's all you've got, just a little bit there. Uh, and you can place all 30 spawn points, all 30 team spawn points in that area there, get them all in. Uh, you know, you can put a few props as well, I've got a Titan there and a few tanks. Uh, I've separated them off of a few cabins. Um, you know, play around, put a few props in, simple, pick up, place down, no editing, no glitching, nothing, just... It's, it's a free little zone, you can place who you want. I think tanks probably work the best because, you know, it is the military base and you're going to have stars when you actually do actually load on online. Uh, so your props there as well. And these little green containers here, these are all your little sweet spots. These are all the sweet spots that are on the area. Uh, you can build up, you can't build anywhere past that point. That's all you've got. But, you know, you can... You can put a few things there, you can put a few spawn points or a few weapons, this is a little place you put your weapons up there, um, not really worth using for spawn points because you can, as you know, you, most people know you can glitch your spawn points anywhere anyway, so it's, that just like, you know, use that area for a nice few little props there, you can make a nice little bit of a bunker or something on the base there, put a few tanks up there or something. And we'll go over here, we've got a few spawn points. Uh, we'll show you how to do the spawn points. For those of you that don't know how to place spawn points in restricted areas, we'll go through that. And then just over here we've got just this area in the corner, it's like car park and by the tower. Uh, and all this back area where these tanks are all floating, I've put these floating tanks. I've already pre-made the map just to speed up things up because it does a bit quite con time consuming. As you can see, there's quite a few tanks. You could easily place your th all 30 tanks, 32 tanks in this area making one seriously crazy death match but uh, what we'll do uh, we'll have a show you around here so you can you know you get an idea and as you see i've got a cabin placed uh, and at this cabin this is what we're going to do you're going to pick up your cabin and then you're going to lift it using the left analog stick on the right analog stick by pushing them down and um, bringing them up bringing it down just to get it right and it's not too high the rest of the base is sky high it's too high but just this section is just perfect i've tried it with other vehicles but you know the tanks are a, they're a, they're a beefy piece of machinery so they, they work the best because they can withstand the fall uh, planes they're just gonna blow up on impact unfortunately uh, but the tanks they, they do work well they work really well <clears throat> you've got all this area around here where we are now uh, and it's all you know within the base, and it's it's at a good distance uh, from the from the start points. I think personally, I think you know you've uh, you're not going to get some straight away. You know it gives people a, an advantage to make their way across the base and get down to these tanks. You know and get it right in them rather than just jumping straight in a tank and blowing the shit out of everybody. But um, what we'll do, we'll just we'll place it down. And as I say, it's just left analog stick down, bring it up, bring it down, right analog stick up and down, up and down, place it. We'll place three just so you get a general idea so we don't have to keep cutting the scenes and showing you again in case you missed it the first time. So we'll just place the three of these here. Like I say, it's a, it's a decent size area here around this tower. It seems with this side of the tower where we are now and it goes up towards the airfield and then back down to this car park. Plus you've got all your outside bits around your little gates where you can place things. Now you need to place the tanks down first. Uh, you place them down, pick them back up and then place on top of your cabins. Simple as that. Place it down, pick it up, place it on top of your cabin. Just like that. That's all we do. And we'll do the last one. Same again. Place it down. And then we'll delete the cabins from underneath. And then we'll have our tanks floating. Now as you know, as soon as you go online, them tanks are going to drop. Now they won't take any damage. As long as they're going to land on the ground, you know, they're going to land on other things like walls and fences and they tip over and stuff. So you want to make sure that they've got a, an area to land and you don't want them too close together so they don't land on top of each other because they're going to blow up. Uh, but for the spawn points, for those of you that don't already know how to do spawn points, uh, again, really simple trick. This is a glitch. Um, I think it's never been patched. It still works on the PS3. 
get your spawn point, place it where it's placeable, pick it back up, don't touch anything, press your, d your touchpad down, get your view, down on your D-pad, and then press circle. And I'll show you again, place it down, pick it back up, go to where you want to go, and you're just going to, you can go anywhere, I mean I'm going on top of the tower there, I'm going to put a few snipers up there. And unfortunately it doesn't work with weapons, but you know, you just don't put false weapons on. Down, uh, make sure you've got a bird's eye view, otherwise it won't work, it'll go all over the place. So you want to get a bird's eye view, just press down on the D-pad, it'll drop the spawn point, it won't let you place it, you press circle to cancel it, and it drops it, and there you've got your spawn point. And it works anywhere, anywhere at all, there's nowhere that that doesn't work. I just put a little up there. It's actually quite a good little trick for the water. So again, touchpad, down the D-pad, bird's eye view, circle. That's it. You got your got your spawn point. It's good for water as well. You can place a prop on the water, drop your spawn point, delete your spawn point. You'll respawn under the water or into the water. It's a nice little trick. So give you a little test here now, just to go around. Now we have placed a Titan, and as you'll see on this map, because we've actually placed our our own Titan. Uh, Titans will actually spawn on the map. As you can see, there's uh, one there just in front of us. You can see the tail, and there's the one that we placed ourselves to the right. And there's another one behind us as well. Um, but we'll come right around to that in a sec. See, so, you know, you've got plenty of room to get your tanks out, you play around with your Titans. You know, it doesn't have to be a death match. You can just have a good play around, you know, have a laugh, take a few jets, you know. The, not easy to test to get. I just see all the tanks falling in the background there, they all fell. So I just see it like that. Obviously I've you know I've done another test, that Titan's gone. We've still got our Titan. And uh, just as we drive over here, so there's no jets anywhere, we don't have any jets. There didn't seem to be any jets or helicopters. But we have got another Titan. And that you know when it blows up uh, eventually, after a few respawns, that will respawn again. I mean the hangar, no jets, nothing unfortunately. The jets and uh, you, you, you should get the odd tank down by the barracks to your right that you know you might get an odd tank spawning but they don't tend to spawn the tanks like the jets and the titans do so yeah, but we've got all these here that we've placed ourselves just waiting to be picked up and taken for a joyride around the base you know so we've got these here all in here as well and you know you, you like i said i just placed a few just to give you an idea but you can really fill this area out and really max out those tanks and uh, just to prove that, you know, they, they're actually working, as you can see, nothing wrong with it at all. Perfect working order. It'll take a few blasts, four or five blasts before it'll actually blow up. You know, so it's, uh, yeah, it's yeah, a good bit of fun, you know. It's alright. Do another one there, take him out as well. Leave no one standing there. Get them all wiped out. And uh, just to show you here as well, if we delete the Titan and we actually place a jet, We'll place two jets, uh, but you don't have to place two jets. Once we've placed our jets, jets will spawn around the base. Uh, so, you know, if you wanted a jet, uh, you know, you want to have a deathmatch in the jets instead of the tanks, you can delete your tanks, uh, or you can have your own tanks in the car park if you want, and then you can just, you know, get a few jets, because the jets will respawn, you know, they will automatically respawn regular. As you can see already, we've got one there. So there's another jet there. Down by the hangar, the parking bay down here, there's one down here, there's another one next to it, the other side. Uh, there's one on the far side that we didn't actually get on the video. Uh, into this hangar here, there's jets there. So there's, there's quite a few jets and they do respawn. They will respawn. So, you know, if you've got it set a bit of time, you can have a, you can have a good little death match there playing around. It will be hard to get them off the ground if you put the wanted level on. And, uh, and that's, there, there's more jets, that's it. And um, here we are on our spawn point on top of the tower. A nice view of Vault San Kudo. Get your sniper out there and take out your uh, enemies. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So, see you next time.